You all right? It's the daily vlog. I um, don't know what number, 19, maybe 20, not too sure. There's a few videos being uploaded today. It will be what's in, the, what's in the bargain bucket at the minute. Stuff that I've been collecting for the mystery boxes. And also there is one more, which is what's an oddity starter pack. So they're worth a look. Um, don't know really if you'll find them funny, they're just more informative. Um, at the minute I'm making some more shooting stars for the last minute Christmas shoppers. I think these are good though when it's not Christmas and all, you know, so they'll probably stay on the website anyway. Whereas the Christmas stuff will disappear after Christmas, because who's buying Christmas stuff after Christmas? Uh, you can see me, my selection of guns here. I'm getting a, oh, that's a pretty good one there. That, I don't know what that is, but it looks fucking mean. So that'll be one of them. There's um, not much else left for me to say, really. Oh, yesterday I found out in the book I'm reading that this um, these scientists were testing on themselves to see if they could feel pain transferred, which I spoke about yesterday as well, about sticking the, the metal through the shin. So they started doing stuff with testicles as well, using a couple fingers to hold the balls and then a metal bar to press the testicles to see where it hurt on the body. Surprisingly, it really hurt the testicles. But they also then found that no one else would agree to do this. So what they started doing was they got a load of what they deemed volunteers, I think there were six of them or seven of them, all male, you know, they needed the bollocks, and weirdly enough, all cats. So they had to make them little frames to tie the cat to. <laughs> Um, it describes a little thing they had to make to cut the balls as well and then they applied pressure to all them cats and what they learnt was fuck all because cats obviously don't have the vocabulary to describe where the pain is where it actually hurts so all they learnt is that if you tie a cat up and squeeze its balls it gets in pain but I couldn't help but thinking about the cheesing episode of South Park but I also started thinking I wonder if you could make a weird form of xylophone so you have all the cats like that and then all the balls are in clamps and you could have like um, one cat being squoze constantly so that it's going wow i have to give it a nice little sort of backing noise and then just with a little you know you could use a toffee hammer you could use it you could use a toffee hammer on one or a teaspoon with a little dink and that thing that you hit a, a triangle with one of them would be good and maybe you know a lollipop stick as well just to like sort of like Flick it on them like, like that on there. It's something you could do, you could make different music, but it I don't think anyone would ever listen to it, but I do think people would watch the video. That's not a recommendation, don't do that, I'm not gonna do that. That'd be cruel. But these people, scientists in the thirties it seems, were mental. That's that's all I've really got to say. Um I'll see you tomorrow, see you in a bit.